Hi, I'm Meg Doherty, and I would like to know how and when is the end user included in the development of research software? Um, the initial goal of my SSI fellowship was to build capacity with RSE leaders to measure user outcomes in research software. And I define user outcomes as signals about the user experience that leaders can use to make better informed decisions about the direction of their software. Um, though what I've learned is that when leaders want to measure user outcomes, they tend to do one of the following things. They develop custom metrics based on individual project goals and sometimes funder requirements. They rely on industry measurements or sometimes do nothing. These approaches can lead to siloed, sometimes proprietary measures, data that makes a project look good but is not actionable, and worse, vague feelings of success or failure. As a first step in my fellowship, I want to understand how, how RSE leaders view the role of the end user before we start developing um, outcome measures. Um, so if you are someone you know is talking, thinking about this, let's talk. And in return, I'm happy to share how, when, how and when we incorporate end users into the product development process in my day job building research software at NIH's All of Us Research Program.